According to Egyptology, there is a clear line of continuity between the 3rd and 4th Egyptian dynasties. From the invention of the Stone Pyramid in the 3rd dynasty, the 2600s BC, to its rapid perfection in the 4th, the 2500s BC. Egyptologists say that everything we see in Egypt was invented in Egypt. But the evidence says otherwise. A major cultural transformation seems to have occurred. Difference number one, structural differences. This is a major difference between the pyramid complexes of the two dynasties. It is presumed that mainly everything in Egypt prior to the third dynasty was mud brick and wood, or beams and pillars made from bundled reeds. Manetto, the Egyptian historian from the Republican Roman era, said it was Djoser who perfected the art of working in stone. Imhotep, his architect, is also mentioned. The stone pyramid itself is thought to be the achievement of Imhotep, an engineer, possibly a commoner deified after his death. The story reminds one and is probably the inspiration of biblical Joseph, a slave who became the king's right-hand man. Except the legend mixes the two up. In reality, the king instead is literally called Joseph or Joza. A people accustomed to using mud brick suddenly began to carve stone blocks of a far smaller size than those used in the 4th dynasty pyramids and in the shape of mud bricks. They piled them into the pyramid as one would a mud brick structure. The builders would have been trained as mud brick builders. The size of the blocks decreases with height and are a fraction of a ton. Meanwhile, the average size of the 4th Dynasty Great Pyramid blocks is 2.5 tons, with some as large as 6.5 tons. Some say 15 tons. I also see no trace of polygonal construction in the 3rd Dynasty Pyramid. Blocks are simply laid like one would build a house, though the structure is possibly buttressed like these later pyramids. Nor are there any burial boats, as with the Khufu pyramid. Came a pharaoh who did not know Joseph, an interesting choice of words that the Bible uses. The blocks of all three Giza pyramids are more of a polygonal interlocking nature than their predecessor. If Imhotep is so deified by the old Egyptians, then who are the great architects and minds of the Giza pyramids whose construction far outstrips anything Imhotep could have envisaged? Difference number two, astronomical differences. While the third dynasty pyramid complexes face north-south with Joseph's mortuary temple on the north wall of his pyramid, the Giza complexes are aligned east-west with the mortuary temples on the east side. East-west is the direction of sunrise and sunset on the two equinoxes of the year, halfway between the solstices. The dramatic difference in astronomical layouts between the 3rd and 4th dynasties speaks of a drastic change in royal culture. It may well be, as many say, that Djosa was the inspiration for Biblical Joseph. I think the inspiration for the wicked pharaoh was certainly Khufu, for it was he who came and oppressed all the previous religion of Egypt. According to Herodotus, he closed all the temples forever. This policy was continued by his successor Khafra, but relaxed by his successor Menkora. No one has said it, but isn't New Kingdom Akhenaten simply repeating what Khufu did, replace all the previous gods with a sun religion? 
One archaeologist found evidence of limestone five-pointed stars on the ceiling of the looted burial area, a shaft under the Zosa pyramid. It is believed the cult at the time was that the king would go to join the North Stars. These are immortal, they never set, hence the north-south alignment of the complex to direct the king's soul in the right direction. The equinox cult of the 4th dynasty, by contrast, is based on the sun rising and setting, another form of eternal life. It is agricultural, speaking of a people who relied on astronomy to tell them when to plant and when to harvest. Seasons matter less in Egypt than in the cold north. The autumn equinox is the beginning of long darkness at the pole. The mysterious Giza builders were acutely aware of the seasons and sensitive to them. Difference number three, aesthetic differences. Civilizations accustomed to woodworking, shifting from wood to stone construction, often replicate woodworking techniques in their stonework. The third dynasty architecture is stone, built though as if it were a perishable material in style. Perhaps they did not know any other design to use. So the roofed colonnade entrance to the complex resembles bundled plant stems. Meanwhile, wall tiles in faience from the underground chambers resemble reed mats. Surrounding the complex was a 10.5 foot wall, much taller and more sturdy than in later dynasties, made of limestone. Miroslav Werner in The Pyramids writes, Limestone walls with niches imitate structures made of wooden planks, along with ropes and poles hung with mats, while stone pillars represent enormous papyrus stalks or rushes. There is a sense of naturalism in Third Dynasty architecture. The Third Dynasty practiced a tasteful ornament, while the Fourth was as austere, precise, and as brutal as Khufu's infamous reputation. The South Tomb at the Zosa Complex totally mysterious as it contains no burial, and with an unknown purpose, contains a wall lined with cobras and another with jet pillars. Jet is also a snake glyph, so just another type of snake perhaps. The place of the snake. The fourth dynasty hasn't been found to decorate in this manner. In what remains, we see austerity, monumental and eternal power, solid construction work designed to be always tasteful and timeless. Nothing that can be dated. Then again, 4th Dynasty temples at Giza might actually turn out to be pre-dynastic. So, in summary, is the 4th Dynasty the same culture or a new one? Some Egyptologists hold that the astral religion in fact was supplanted by the sun religion during the reign of Djosa himself. Was he inspired by Imhotep, who brought with him a new religion, as the Bible may suggest in later legends? Who can say?